Okay, you're right. It's our second last lesson of the term. This is Thursday's lesson, and it's a percentages chapter review. So you've got to complete the chapter review today. The questions you've got are at the bottom of page 235, then all of 236, and some of 237. Questions 1 to 20, it sounds like a lot, but they're pretty straightforward. In questions 3, 10, and 11, I only want you to do that bottom row, E, F, G, and H. You've got to show all your working, so when you post that work to me, I'll be able to see that because... It'll be pretty obvious if all you've done is written questions and answers or something that you've just used your calculator. All right, I'm going to do examples all the way through. So stay tuned. I'm going to go pretty fast, so you might want to watch this a couple of times. Okay, question one. It says 4 7 equals something over 21. Well, to go from 7 to 21, that's times by 3, so that's got to be times by 3, so the answer's going to be 12. Question three. 3 fifths plus 7 tenths. Not a common denominator, so we've got to get the common denominator which is going to be 10. You could go 5 tens of 50, but you can see they both go into 10. So that one's going to stay at 10. 5 times 2 is 10, so 3 times 2 is 6. 6 and 7 is 13 over 10, which is 1 and 3 tenths. 10 minus 3 and a half. Well, you're going to have to make this 10. 2, 3 is a 6, and 1 is 7 on 2. Now, 10 is the same as 20 on 2, minus 7 on 2. So 20 minus 7 is 13 on 2, which is 6.5, but you can leave it like that. Questions 5 and 6, this will help. 2 ones are 2, 1 is 3 times by 2 ninths. Timesing, so straight across the top is 6, straight across the bottom is 18, and 6 over 18 is a third. And now we're going quickly, but I've got to get them all done, so the video is not too big. Question 7, 1.5 divided by 3 quarters, your KFC when it's divided by, so that's... 3 on 2, divided by 3 quarters, KFC, keep, flip, change, 3 fours are 12, over 6, 12 over 6 is 2, pretty straightforward, ok, decimals, question 10, 12.4 minus 6.22, you've got to have the decimal point under point, so you're missing a 0 there, so you've got to put it down, 0 minus 2, we're going to have to borrow and pay back, 10 minus 2 is 8, 4 minus 3 is 1, 12 minus 6 is 6, 6.18. Question 11, 0.06 times 7. Well, if you go 6 sevens, that's 42, and you've got 2 in the decimal point, so you've got to go to give you 0 0.42. Divided by, it's 14.22 divided by 0.2. Move the decimal point, 1 there and 1 there. So now, 2 into 1 doesn't go, 2 into 14 goes 7, 2 into 2 goes 1, 2 into 2 goes 1. Wow, that was a really easy one. Express 16 centimetres of 4 metres, different units. So make it 16 centimetres of 400 centimetres. 16 out of 400, well if you divide that by 4 and you divide that by 4, you get 4 over 100. You can just do that bit on the calculator. 4 over 100 is 4% Question 17, decrease means go down $4,000 by 15%. So let's find 15% of $4,000. Got my calculator here, 4,000 times by 15% equals $600. So we're going to decrease it, so that's going to be 4,000 minus 600 gives me $3,400. Nearly at the end, here's a question like 18. 70% of an amount is $544. You know you've got to do the down then up thing. So what's the full amount? 1%, 544 divided by 17. So 544 divided by 17 gives me 32. So 1% is $32. So 100% is going to be $3,200. We're done. Get to work. Show all your working, please. And post it when you're finished.